This is something that has helped me and I hope it helps you. So what we're going to be doing today is a kettlebell swing. Now we're going to go ahead and do some swings here, but what I want you to keep in mind is we're going to take two steps forward and we're going to take one step back with this kettlebell swing. Okay, so the first thing is you always want to make sure that your glutes are used, your hamstrings, your knees are slightly bent. But I'm going to take a step backwards, like I said. I'm going to use a dumbbell. So the reason why I'm using this thick grip dumbbell is because it forces you to engage your grip, your core. You have to hang on to it nice and tight because if not, it's going to fly out because it's about two and a half inches of grip strength of the bar. So when you're swinging this up, notice how my hips are in the same area as when I'm doing a kettlebell swing. So this is called a vintage swing or an old style kettle dumbbell swing. And so what you really want to do is you want to drive with your hips, drive with your glutes as you take the weight up. So once I understand that, I can go back to doing a kettlebell swing. I can do a hand-to-hand -hand swing. I can do pretty much any type of swings. But this is a great way to engage your glutes, your hamstrings, because when people start to swing, they don't ultimately do it correctly. And this is a great, great, great place to start. So I hope this helps you. If you have any questions, let me know.